So now we would like to recognize the resource persons to give their comments. First, the DOJ. Do we have a representative from the Department of Justice? Yes, um, please um, identify yourself and... Sige po. Uh, good morning, uh, Madam Chairperson and uh, the members of this Honorable Committee on Justice. I am State Counsel uh, Melvin Suarez, uh, representative for the Department of Justice. Um, will I be uh, presenting my position paper for the department, ma'am? Uh, yes, you can um, state your the position of the department briefly. We already um, received the written uh, position papers, but uh, please go ahead. And... Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. So the uh, Department of Justice, uh, in a letter dated 24 October 2022, signed by the Honorable Secretary, Undersecretary Raul Vasquez for the Secretary of Justice, manifested that uh, the present bill granting uh, Philippine, Filipino citizenship to Mr. Justin Donta Brownlee is indeed an exercise of legislative power, which is the authority vested under the Constitution in the Congress of the Philippines to enact laws subject to its internal rules such as granting Philippine citizenship to deserving foreigners who have embraced the Filipino culture as well as those who have embodied the Filipino values of perseverance, determination, and dedication to their craft. Uh, it appearing, Madam Chairperson, that Mr. Brownlee has no derogatory record on file with the National Prosecution Service of the Department of Justice. We submit that it is within the power of Congress to enact the subject bill into law that will bestow on Mr. Brownlee Philippine citizenship as recognized in our jurisdiction one of the ways to become a Philippine citizen by naturalization is through legislative naturalization which is in the form of law enacted by Congress bestowing Philippine citizenship to an alien. Thank you Madam Chairperson. Thank you. Um, now from the DFA, do we have a representative from the DFA? Please identify yourself. Uh, good morning, Paul, members of the uh, honorable members of the committee, uh, fellow uh, colleagues in government, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Brownlee. Uh, as for the DM, I'm uh, Assistant Director of One Nine Pangmi, uh, the Office of Consular Affairs, uh, Passport Division, uh, representing the DFA. Uh, uh, the DFA actually uh, has no position paper in this, except that we the, both the passport records and the visa records of the department showed no derogatory record uh, uh, of Mr. Brownlee, and hence we have no uh, objection uh, to the passage of the bill or, or the law, eventual law. Thank you. Thank you. Um, before we proceed, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Congressman Raul Angelo Bongalon and Congressman Vice Chair, Vice Chair um, Keith Flores, Jonathan Keith Flores. Um, so now we'll proceed to the position of OSG. Is there a representative from the OSG? Good morning, Your Honor. Um, yes. This, my name is Senior State Solicitor Fendi Corey Tabau. We have submitted to the committee certifications issued by the Special Committee on Naturalization and the DMS from the OSG stating that no um, petitions for naturalization were filed either judicially or administratively. Hence, the OSG poses no objection to the passing of the bill. Thank you. Thank you. From the Bureau of Immigration. Good morning, Madam Chair and the members of the committee. Um, Attorney Charlene May Kalingasan from the Bureau of Immigration. Um, on October 28, 2022, we likewise submitted our position paper and we also attached a certification that the name Justin Donta Brownlee, born on 23 April 1988, does not appear in the Bureau's whole departure, blacklist, watch list, alert list, and lookout bulletin records as of October 19, 2022. Uh, thus, we interpose no objection to the granting of Philippine citizenship of Mr. Justin Donta Brown. That is all, Your Honor. Thank you. And lastly, from the NBI. Uh, good morning, uh, Madam Chair. I'm uh, Head Agent Lodibuco Tilara, uh, Chief of uh, NBI Counterintelligence Division. 
uh, the NBA already submitted a position paper to the secretariat and uh, considering that the that uh, Mr. Justin Donta Brownlee has no the regulatory record with our files and uh, he already secured NBA clearance uh, the NBI interposed no objection to uh, uh, the petition for naturalization but uh, the NBI in, his, in the position paper uh, recommends uh, further uh, further uh, recommends uh, something on the following issues for consideration uh, first the bill is uh, surprisingly silent as to the condition of the naturalization as such it is therefore recommended that certain conditions be imposed such as but not limited to the following letter a revocation of the privilege of naturalization in case of any of them commit crimes involving moral fortitude observe immoral indecent conduct close in parenthesis polygamy or adhere to the ideologies which support violence force or threats as a means to achieve its agenda second they must continue to be a person of good moral character and adhere to the laws of the land in our constitution and finally they should show and exert genuine efforts interest in embracing and desiring to learn the customs, traditions, cultures, and ideals of the Filipino. That's all, Mr. Madam Chair. Okay, um, the position of the NBI is, is noted. Um, having heard the, com the comments from the resource persons, we now recognize the applicant, Mr. Justin uh, Dante Brown-Lee, to give his remarks. Uh, hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here. Um, uh, just want to uh, become a citizen, help out, you know, the national team. Um, I've, I've had a lot of love from um, the fans and the people here. Um, it just seems like it would be great, you know, to be a part of the country and um, just keep helping out as much as I can with the national team. And, um, you know, hopefully I can uh, just be an inspiration to to people and kids and you know help uh to better basketball here and um to just to do whatever i can to just be better and a good citizen here 